Oh, we got another bear peeking out. Hello, Mr. Bear. Ooh, that one sold. Someone might not let me touching their bear. <laughs> Okay guys, today we are in Dover, Ohio at the Warther Carvings Museum where this weekend they are having a Christmas tree festival. They have over a hundred trees in here decorated, the whole place decked out for Christmas. They do this every year uh, to support the Union Hospital Auxiliary of Cleveland Clinic. Set up all these trees and they kind of auction them off. I think it's like a silent auction where you just kind of go around and you look at the trees and then you put in your bid, you know, instead of like standing there with a paddle. <laughs> I'm gonna go on in here and see exactly what they have to offer today. Check out all this Christmas goodness. I have filmed over here before, although it's been a couple years, and honestly, I don't remember which channel it was on. Look, they've got this red caboose over here. They've got another one right here, this awesome gazebo in the distance. I filmed all that. Do that another day. Oh, this isn't the caboose. It's an engine. <laughs> But I will come back and do that another day because today we're strictly here to see the Christmas winter wonderland inside. Walking in here, I'll just tell you a little bit here. Um, Ernest Warther is like a master carver. Unbelievable. You're going to see some of these trains and stuff that he carved by hand in here. This was their home right here. And then this little building right here is actually full of buttons that his wife used to collect. And uh, you can tour both of those. We'll do that another day. But I'm serious, this uh, this little house here is full, wall to wall, floor to ceiling. You'll have to see it. I I'll have to come back here and film it again. In fact, I'll post my old video where I did film this whole place and all his carvings. I'll post that at the end. The editing is not the greatest because it was a long time ago, but, uh, but it's still a pretty good video. But right now, this is where we're going, the Ernest Warther Museum. You see they got all this Christmas stuff already decked out in the windows. So we're going in here to see the Christmas trees. Lots of people in here today, guys. Oh, I see a Santa. I have to get a selfie with him. <laughs> this place is just totally decked out with all these trees. Let's start with this one right here. It's called the Vino Express. Look at this. Remember I pointed this out just the other day on a tree, how it looks like ice crystals? That is all throughout this tree. And look, they have like grapes on here and little uh, wine ornaments, Merlot. That is pretty cool. Look at the grapes down here. They even light up. Yeah, look at that. That looks really cool. Look, they've got a, a, a wine bottle on the top there, like the tree topper. And look, to accessorize it, they even have this wine set up here. <laughs> look, this is corks in there. We got an Ohio Buckeyes uh, wreath here. This one's apparently already sold. And here's a Buckeyes tree. Look at this. I know it's kind of dark in here, but snowflake. I could turn on my, uh, my flash, I guess. There we go, that kind of ruins the lights on the tree, but at least you can see what's on it now. Look at this one, this one's called A 60's Christmas. 
It's got all these 60s themes on it. The Beatles. Oh my gosh, Twister. Yellow Submarine. Look, we've got a popcorn garlands on there. Cat in a Hat. There's the Grinch. Mary Poppins. Look at this. This one's called Farmhouse Christmas. Remember the other day when I was pointing out the black and white plaid? And how I said that that would look pretty good. Look at this. We've even got antlers on the top there. That's pretty creative. A white bell. And then look at this setup here. The shag rug in front of the fireplace. This one's already sold. And I was wrong. It's not uh, that you bid on them. They actually have a price, and apparently you just say, okay, I want number seven, and you buy it. Little hearts come home for Christmas. I like that red bow on the top. Look at this cow. Good tidings of great joy. Disney Christmas. Look, we got a Disney hat on top as the tree topper. Mickey and Minnie throughout. There's Chip and Dale. Donald Duck, Pluto. Look at the little ice skating rink down here. <laughs> What's this one? Be a unicorn in a field of horses. Magical Christmas. I love the flocked trees. Little sparkling lights. Oh my gosh, look at this one. It's called Northland Holiday. Polar bears. That is cool. I love that one. Oh my gosh. Look at a giant polar bear in the bottom. Hello. This one's called Rudolph and the Gang. And it's decorated like, uh, well, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. As for me and my house, oh, I like that one. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Little churches on the bottom there. Here's a snowman. The stars are brightly shining. You gotta love Christmas trees, man. Look, we got a John Deere themed tree. I like those yellow bulbs. Here's a green one. <laughs> What's this? Love is all around Ohio. Christmas in Ohio. Okay, that one's sold. That's pretty cool, though. Look at this. This is this is like a ice flocked uh, mint green tree, I think. Glistening pines is what this one is called. <laughs> Look at this one over here with the sparkling lights. A Christmas stroll through Tin Town. And there's Tin Town on the bottom. Texas Roadhouse Western. I think that's the one they're talking about here, yeah. I love the plaid. Twinsies. Uh-oh, time to get hungry. This one's called Santa's Bake Shop. Look at this. Look at that cookie. Mm -mm -mm. That's really cool. They get pretty creative with these tree toppers. Look how sparkly that bow is. Let's go up that one again. Look at that sparkly bow. Oh, we got another bear peeking out. Hello, Mr. Bear. Oop, that one sold. Someone might not let me touching their bear. <laughs> cool, look, we have a Grinch-themed tree. Look at this. Look at all the colors in that one. There's the Grinch himself and Max. Grinch storybook. Look at that. This is really cool. I like that. This one's called the Snowman Shuffle. Ooh, water globes on the bottom. Look at this all white tree here. Dang. I like that. It's called Here Come the Snow People. I like that one. Look at this one, guys. This may actually be my favorite one so far. It's called Checking It Twice. And it's got Santa's list right on 
the front. Hold on, am I on Santa's list? Yes, that's a close one. We even got Santa's boots over here. And you know I love the plaid. All right guys, let's make our way into this other room here. There are plenty more to go. Yeah, look at all these, dang. Look at this one right here. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Dang. It's called Compassionate Christmas. Imagine that in your living room. Kicking back on the couch, watching a Christmas movie, and you got the Tree of Hope right there with you. I love that. This one's called Holiday Glow. Thank you, baby Jesus. We got the angel tree topper up here. This one is called C Cooking Up Some Christmas Treats. It's got utensils as the tree topper. What the heck, that is pretty cool. Little pans. Hot pads. <laughs> I love this, man. I'm so glad I came out here today. What's this one? This is called Holiday Ski Lodge. Look at that ornament. <laughs> A moose at the top. Look at this moose over here I almost missed. This one's called Joy, Hope, Love. How they have the berries on the top here. Let's look at this one. This one's called It's Snow Fun. It's so funny, like what's with the rats? <laughs> Who would ever think that rats look good on a Christmas tree, but it does. another uh, Ohio State one all red and white Ohio State ornaments here's all those we just looked at guys it's tough to get a wide shot because there's just so many people in here so I have to wait till they all are uh, are clear of what I'm trying to show you yeah this is what it looks like in here right now Tons of people just checking out all the, the Christmas decorations and everything. I love this. This is what I love about Christmas time. Here's a spot where there's nobody at for the moment. Look at these. Look at this Disney one. It's called Merry Christmas Mickey. <laughs> Mickey's feet at the bottom there. I love the sparkly trees. Look at his hands sticking out the sides. And there's the ears at the top. I just love trees that sparkle. This one's called Starry Starry Night. Heartland Holiday. I love the branches sticking out the top there. Oh look, we have a racing themed one. It's called a Midvale Speedway Christmas. I've actually been wanting to uh, to film at Midvale Speedway for quite some time now. I mean, I'm not big into racing, but I drive by there and I can hear those cars flying around. Wally would like this tree. Look at the black plaid. That's cool. Look at this, it's called Winter Reflections. Somebody made this. That's like a cable knit sweater material. This one's called Cool Yule. Looks more of just like a basic Christmas tree like anyone would have in their home. Very sparkly. I like it. And what's this one here? It's got bird nests. Glamorous Woodlands is what it's called. Look at this. Bird's nests in the tree. <laughs> That's pretty cool.
Oh, I love this one. Look, this is called Let's Go Skiing. And it's like a ski lodge theme. Skis sticking out the tree. Big snowflakes. <laughs> Look, we even have a couple of meese on the side here. <laughs> I need to find a jacket like that. Dang, I would totally wear that. I'm gonna show you the trees over here in a second. But if you look in the background in these cases, you can see um, the trains that Ernest Warther carved by hand. I'm not even kidding. And like I said, I'll come down here another time and film just this stuff again. But I mean, how amazing, look at all the details. The wheels, everything. Look at this. That's all hand carved. Unbelievable. Here's a video up here of him doing some of his carving, actually. This tree right here is called Arctic Frost. Look at this. Everything is white on there. White owls, foxes, birds. And we've got that... Uh, what looks like ice on there, ice crystals. Hello, soft bird. Sometimes I can't believe I do this stuff in front of people. Is there anybody else in here petting the animals on the trees? <laughs> this one's called Home for the Holidays. There's our truck. Look at this, that looks like a black bow. How good does that look? Look at the mixture on here. Red bow, black sparkly, burlap. That is amazing to make that mixture look this good. Wow. This one's called All Eyes on Christmas. That's a really dark one. I don't know if that's a black tree. No, I think it's green, but dang, that looks good. While shepherds watched. Look at this. I like that. You got little sheep all over in the trees. Here's another one of his trains that he carved. I think they want to keep the focus on the trees though today because usually on that podium there these are spinning around real slow. This one's called Home for Christmas. Look at this, look at all that flocking on there. I like that. That red plaid bow on the top. Play ride. Look at the topper on that. This one's called Nature's Woodland. And look at this, we've got uh, birds on this one too. Are they cardinals? <coughs> okay, let's make our way through the crowds here and go into a yet another room. Ooh, look at this one over here. I always notice the red plaid immediately. This one's even called plaid tidings. Look at all the flocking on there too. Here's a wreath with Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus. Look at the black plaid on this one. Look at this nativity scene over here guys. This is called a child is born. I like that. All kinds of wreaths lining the wall here all the way down this one on top of the train is called santa's golden glory and yes that is another train that he carved by hand through the tusks look at this i mean if i had to actually choose my favorite out of any of this stuff it would be so difficult called black and white fantasy 
black and white plaid. Oh look, we got uh, the snowman hat on top. Frosty the snowman. Look, this one's just called Celebrating 50 Years of Nursing at KSU, Kent State University. Look at the nurse here. <laughs> Pretty good looking tree though. I love the tree toppers, man. So many of these are so creative. Glory to the newborn king is this one. This one's called It's a Dover Christmas. I actually kind of expected to see like some pictures of Dover on there. Not that there's anything wrong with how it is, but. Hello, soft reindeer. This one's called Believe in Christmas. More of just like your uh, traditional tree that you would see in anybody's living room. I do like that topper though. Look at this tall one here. It's called Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. I've seen this musical note stuff in stores and I've thought that would be really cool to decorate with. All throughout the tree there. That's really cool. And look, they've got little records. The Beatles. Look, we got a red Christmas train with a tree. Whoa, look at these. I'm excited to see that one and this one right here. I love all this white and all the flocking on this one. This is called Glitzy Deer. Look at that stuff coming out the top. I don't even know what you call that, but I love it. Silent Night is what this one's called. I really like this one right here. It's called an F, and I can't even say it, an efflorescence Christmas. I'm assuming because it looks fluorescent. Look at all those colors in there. That looks so cool. I love that. A couple more to go here in this room. Look, this one's called Starburst. Decorated with all kinds of different kinds of uh, stars. We got some little white birdies on there. Hello, soft birdie. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this one. It's called Christmas Spectacles. We got an elf with spectacles. Santa has spectacles. <laughs> oh my god, big spectacles on the top. No Country is this one. We got a moose down there and some meese in the tree. Okay, I really like this one. Look at this. We got the Christmas carolers around the bottom here. This one's called Everything Old is New Again. I like that. I like them all. Forest Winterland is this one. Look at these trees down here in the snowmen. And I really like this ribbon up here. I almost missed this one right here. As you enter the room, this is called Winter Gathering. It's another uh, black and white plaid. That looks really good. I gotta get a shot of this whole room. Hold on a second. All right, guys, I think we've seen them all. And if I counted right, there's over a hundred trees and wreaths in here throughout. I love this. Let's take a look at this room again. Oh, I'm wrong. I missed this whole row over here. Let's check these out. Look, this one's called Welcome 2020. Bottles on here. <laughs> Cheers on the top. This may actually be like a raffle tree because I noticed on the back of this one it says New Year's package includes 
all this stuff, including a night's stay at the Shunburn Inn and Suites. But that's all. That's the only one that has anything on it, and all of them have numbers on them. This is cool. This is more of like a, uh, a country theme. Christmas on the farm. Horse-drawn sleigh rides. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. There's our trucks with the trees on the bottom. Look, this one's almost like the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. It's just so simple. It's just a little Christmas tree with a sack on the bottom and red lights. That's all it is. It's so simple yet so awesome. <laughs> Christmas on the farm. Tractors and cows and stuff on this one. And I think this one's my favorite on this whole side over here. This is called Baby's First Christmas. Look at this. We got like baby toys all through the tree. Teethers and blocks and things on a white tree. That looks really cool. All right guys, that is it for the Warder Christmas Tree Festival. All these people in here today. This has been pretty fun walking around here looking at this stuff. And as crazy as it is at times, I love Christmas crowds. Yeah, lots of people in there today. If you want to come down and check this out, though, you have to do it uh, either today or tomorrow. Because today's Saturday, tomorrow's Sunday, and I think that's I think that's it. Wait, I think they do it one more weekend, actually. The information is on Facebook. I'll uh, I'll share those links below if you want to check it out. Pretty awesome place, though. And yeah, I'll come back here and uh, and film another time, just for what this place is for the Carvings Museum. Absolutely amazing.